Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 7, 2019, and I'm going to be using my Studio Calico Lucky Charms kit. This kit released in February, and it is one of my favorites, so of course I'm trying to use this kit as much as possible. Now, I'm going to keep it kind of basic. The cards in this kit is actually really basic, very pretty colors, so it's all going to match. I love this easy like Sunday morning card. It's just a basic black and white, so whatever I choose is going to match it nicely. I do want to use up as many cards as possible, so I'm thinking I would use one of these 3x4 cards as an embellishment for my 4x6 photo. So I just leave it aside and I'll figure it out when I get there. I'm going to start with my title card or my week card. At first I thought I would use these vellum numbers that came in the kit. They're just so gorgeous. But I don't know why I changed my mind honestly because it looks pretty good with that pink. I end up stamping using my Kelly Perky Highline number stamps. I'm going to end up stamping uh, week 7. Now I learned this little technique from Kelly where she masks off one of the numbers and it looks really cool so I'm going to try it for myself and I really really love how it looks. So I ended up adding the 0 and 7 and then I'm going to grab some yellow ink and stamp it with that yellow ink um, because I have the inline and the outline for that highline number stamp. I'm just really loving the mustardy yellow, by the way, recently. I'm a big fan of bright yellow, but this mustardy yellow is really taking over my heart, honestly, but I'm just loving it. And I love that um, Studio Calico had a lot of that mustardy yellow in this kit. I'm using my Feed Your Craft uh, Journalit stamp set, I believe. It has the week stamp in there, so I'm going to end up stamping week and call my 3x4 card done. I will move on to this photo of my kids. They were really upset with my husband and I, and I snapped a photo of them, um, which made them more upset, by the way. But I'm going to grab one of my Kelly Perky labels, and I'm going to stamp, um, not quite over it, but getting there. I think that's a stamp set from Carrie Bradford. It's a really cool stamp set. It has a bunch of like phrases, um, kind of when you're upset, sad, attitudes, all that good stuff. And I love that stamp set. So I just stamped that out. I'm also going to go through my puffy stickers and my little bowl of half twos and add a few little embellishments to this cluster. I'm moving on to this 4x6 photo of the beautiful sunshiny day and I went through these little circle embellishments that were also from that same kit and I'm going to end up using sunshiny day. I will just add it to the corner of my photo and staple it down. But once I get that done, I'm going to move on to this 4x6 photo of my daughter. Like I said, I'm going to end up using this 3x4 card as an embellishment. I'm going to trim it down. So I'm going to create this 3x4 card into strips. So each word is a different strip and then I will end up adding it to my 4x6 photo of my daughter. This is one of my favorite ways to use my cards is to Use them as embellishments for photos. It works really, really nicely with 4x6 photos, especially if you have some white space um, or you want to fill out some empty spots on your photo. I really love how this one turned out. It was such a simple technique and such a simple step that it, it added a lot to this photo and I love it.
Now, I want to journal about why my kids were upset with us. So I decided to use this three by four card to uh, journal about that. But before I take it to my typewriter, I'm going to use that same Carrie Bradford stamp set. And in that stamp set, there was a stamp that said attitude. Love this stamp. I love block stamps a lot. So I just stamped it with some black ink on white cardstock. I'll fussy cut it out and end up adding it right above my journaling. So at this moment, I'm taking my card to my typewriter. I'll journal about it, add the attitude um, little stamp and staple it down. I'm almost done with my layout. I just want to add a little something here and there. So I end up using the chipboards that came in the kit. I'll add happy, but I felt like this circle chipboard was really small and kind of floating. So I will back it up with a circle sticker. Then I'm going to grab my Kelly Perky stamps. And in one of my little stamp sets, there was one for the books. So I'm just going to stamp it with some archival ink on my 3x4 photo of me holding my fortune cookie. I'll finish up my layout by adding a little white puffy heart to my title card just to add a little texture and something to that card. It just felt very bland and basic, I guess. And then I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.